How are you? I've been better. Why did you come alone? Don't know. Why would I bring anyone? I don't know either. We'll go down to the, to the flat part down there and speak, okay? Mm. Mother wants us over by her. Oh, over here then. To your left. Up there. Well, now, to what did we owe the pleasure? Um, what comes after all of that? Well, that's up to you to decide. If we had more to follow up with that, we would have followed up at that time. What do you think should follow that up? Not the kidnapping me part. I don't... The broken part. What comes after the broken part? So you've had a change of heart then. You do think you might be broken. Either you accept it and embrace it and use it, or you work on the parts that are broken. Because now that you know you're broken, you can actually begin to fix it. If you can't fix it? Well, then you better learn to accept it. That way you can live with it. Indeed. Mm. Otherwise, you just won't be able to live with yourself. But like I said, that depends entirely on you. You're going to have to speak up a little, dear. I can barely hear you. Nothing, I'm just talking, I'm just, I'm, I'm just talking to myself at this point. Well, Luna can probably help you with that. Mm hmm God, I don't know why I can't hear I am... <laughs> was in your thoughts when you conceive this plan? Trying to find an answer? I don't know. Trying to find anything, something, something that can maybe make me sleep for once. What's keeping you awake? Oh God, what isn't keeping me awake at this point? I was just hoping that maybe if I talked to the people who had started it, or triggered it, or, or made me think about it, that they could just say something or I would get angry enough that I would stop thinking about it, but... It's quite a predicament you put yourself upon. I'm... 
Yeah, maybe it is. You sound a little crazy. I haven't slept for the past week. Maybe I am. I don't... I don't know anymore. And I don't really care. I'm just searching for something or anything or anyone who can let me fucking sleep for once. I can put you to sleep. Not in a killing way. I don't want to die. Okay. Well, I sleep like a baby. What? I sleep like a baby. I accept who I am. I sleep well as well. I've, I don't know, I've, I've admitted and accepted that I'm broken and that everything that's ever happened is probably, not, I don't know what comes after that. You haven't accepted that you're broken. You fought us against that, that night. You tried to convince us or yourself perhaps that you were not what we had described you as, that we saw you as. Now you have a change of heart. Clearly you have not come to the conclusion for yourself that you have become such a thing, an animal, a monster. Why is that, Inya? I think I knew beforehand. I. You're not the first people to tell me that I'm... <laughs> a lunatic or that I'm broken or that I'm insane or that there's something wrong with me. I mean, you're not the first and you won't be the last. Then why do you fight it? Because I was just desperate of holding on to something that doesn't exist anymore. Have you I given up that foolish ambition yet? Which one? Ruling out hope that they're wrong. No. No, I don't, I don't think that's ever going to happen, I think. Uh, you sought us out because you saw that we accepted and embraced the crazy, the brokenness. <laughs> maybe, maybe I, maybe, maybe, maybe I did, maybe I didn't, I'd. You don't know. I did but the same thing with Shay without knowing why. Why did I? I know that I'm I know that I'm looking for answers by talking to you, of course. I mean answers that I, I of course knew that I wasn't going to find because I'm never finding the answers that I need to be finding. You're not finding the answers you want to find. There's a difference. I can't give you those answers. No one can give me those answers, it seems. And still, I'm sending out letters to people who kidnapped me and other people who have tortured me before, just hoping maybe I'll find it. God, I am an idiot, aren't I? And yeah. <laughs> Look at me. Turn your fucking body and look at me. How old are you? 18. Young. Very young woman. you want to be indescribably presumed or to experience what it feels like to really let yourself be free in your own torments, your own struggles and pains? Yeah. Yeah. That would be nice when that, um... 
yeah, that, that, that would be nice. But, oh God, what am I doing here? Trying to come to an understanding upon your own self. That's what. The people who kidnapped me, who left me in a cave, who made me walk all the way back to Strawberry? That was the second time, the first one I stabbed you. Remember? That's true. You did. You did stab I did me. That. I still have that scar. Mm -hmm. huh? So many scars now. I lose track of them. It's very unfortunate. <laughs> Have you ever thought out mental health before? A few times. How did that go for you? They left. They left. Stopped talking to me. Something happened to them and they couldn't help me anymore. They got too wrapped up in their own lives to care. tried god no how many doctors i've tried maybe that's why i'm here i tried to talk to people then i tried to talk to doctors and neither works and i'm talking to criminals <laughs> criminals sweet enya we are far worse than criminals we're not the type that go out and do petty crimes stupid little fucking robberies petty little things No, we like to get psychological with people. Understand what really homes in on them and makes them tick from the depths of their fucking soul, and yeah. Like the conversation that we had with you. We had so much fun and learned so much about you. So much so that you were not even aware and present for of your own nature. Sadly. You learned something in that cave that day. And you know you did. Something stuck within your head. That's kept you awake, cycling through your thoughts, your dreams, your moments of awake and sleep. You understood something. You might not grasp it entirely, but you understood something from that experience. And you probably are curious and questioning upon why we didn't hurt you. Because you know we do that. Why were you spared? That's a good question, isn't it, Enya? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Answer it then. What? Answer. Why you were spared. Why did we spare you in the gay of Inya? It wasn't worth hurting. Hmm. Do you feel like that's the truth? No. Think really hard, because you're not stupid. I, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know why you spared me. I, because everyone else just loves to tear me apart, and that was easier to deal with than this. Being stabbed in the chest, being tortured, that it's easier to deal with than this. Mm -hmm. So I would think about it more, so I wouldn't have to think about the pain and I had to face the reality of everything that you said to me. I, I don't know. I think you did a really good job of figuring it out. Because to not hurt you hurts you more. Because that's the expectation. That's where your fear puts you in, in that moment. That outcome, because of your familiarity with it with so many others. So by not hurting you, you could it's done. And heal from a stab wound and look at it and remember it. But when somebody gets in your head, 
and they bring a shovel and they just start shoveling shit all over the place and reorganizing and fucking it up has more of an impact for a broken little bitch. <laughs> Who tries to fight it, but she's not a broken little bitch. When indeed she is a broken little bitch. Because that's what you wanted, that's what you expected, and that's what you've been taught. <laughs> the one time that I've been kidnapped and not nearly torn to shreds it somehow hurts more than any other time. God, I hate it. God, I hate it. God, I hate it. <laughs> Do you want to cut me? What? Do you want to cut me? No, why? Why wouldn't you want to cut me? Am I not worthy of your blade? I don't... I don't take pleasure in hurting people. I don't... You can poison your father, but you can't cut me? I don't want to poison him. I know. It would really be okay. I cut her all the time. Mm -hmm. Pull your knife. What? Take your knife out. Put it in your hand and hold it. You do know how to use a knife, don't you, Enya? I, I do. You know how to cut and not to stab, correct, Enya? I'm, I'm not gonna cut you. I'm not gonna stab. I'm not gonna do any of that. Are you afraid? I, I. Maybe it'll reveal something you didn't really know about yourself. Mm hmm. Or maybe it'll confirm what you already know. Either way, you would learn something. Oh, I don't. I... Put your knife in your hand. I don't want to hurt you. You want to understand something about yourself, you'll do this. Why does it have to be with a knife? I, why does it have to be by hurting you? Why does... You'll see. Don't pretend to be something you're not. You know you want to stab me. You know you want to cut me. But your own limitations and the shit that's floating around in your head and keeping up at night tells you, no, no, don't do that, Enya. That'll be bad, Enya. You'll change, Enya. You'll see a different side of yourself and you won't like it, Enya. Fuck that. Pull your knife and cut me with it. You're not going to get hurt by anybody here. Don't. It's 
not. If you do this, that is. Yes. Because if I am, come on, Anya. It's within you. Let it out. Let it play. Let it feast a bit. You'll be surprised on how elegant it is. Bittersweet, harmonious, and such. Come on. It's not. You're not the kind of person that I would hurt. Why? You're the kind of person I would hurt. I've hurt you it's before, not... remember? That's not what matters to me. What I... matters? Who would you hurt? What kind of person would you want to hurt? What is it that matters to you? She could hurt family. Clearly. It's not. It's people that I would feel bad for hurting. Why would you feel bad for hurting me? I've hurt a lot of people. For hurting you. Then do it. I don't put a mark it's, upon it's me. I... Your mark. I left one on you. It's only fair. I don't, I don't care about what's fair. I stop being I've afraid. Never... Breathe. Pull your knife. Walk to me and cut me. It's that simple. Don't stab me. Just cut me. Put a line upon my flesh. Can I at least patch you up afterwards? What's up for mother? You may. Let's grow this evening, shall we? You want me to hurt you. Doesn't you matter. need this. It's... You don't know it yet. You don't see it yet. You don't feel it yet. But you need this. More than you will ever know. I need this. Mm-hmm. and is there any specific place any I, I, I don't usually cut people that's your choice where you decide to do it 
says as much about you as it does anything. Am I allowed to, to walk up to you? Is that okay? Mm-hmm. Sure, it's okay. Mother, didn't you? Do it, Anya. Fuck, why am I doing this? Oh god, why am I doing this? Like I said, you need to, to do it. Don't I don't need it. I don't I don't need to know. I don't I don't want to know. I don't You do it. want to know. What else would you reach out to us? Mm -hmm. You wanted answers. We're gonna give you some answers. But you have to be big enough in your own flesh with your own shadow. To do it. To fucking do it. You're not gonna hate me? No. I'll respect you, actually. Indeed. Respect me? Mm hmm Why? For handling your own. For being big enough to make decisions that matter. And to help you, believe it or not. To help you see, to help you understand, to formulate answers to questions that you have in your head that burden the shit out of you is why. Do it. Do it. Okay. Do it. Show me that you're not a broken little I bitch just need to and do it. For a moment. Mm. I like this, Anya. Good girl. Sorry. Don't be. Don't be sorry. Be you. No one here is judging you. No one here is here to make you small in this moment. Right now, you are given an opportunity to rise, to be bigger than you've been in quite some time. So do it. It's just a knife. In my flesh, it will heal. It will hurt, and I will like it. Okay. Mm -hmm. She told you herself she's broken. Yes. And yeah, I murder women and I take her to my home and I talk to them and I give them names and I put them on my horse and I ride them around because they're my, my friend and I care for them until they decompose and then it's just not good from there. And they don't look beautiful anymore. You, you what? Mm -hmm. That's what? I don't. You what? Yeah. And I like it. While you pity your life and the things that have happened and the choices that you made, you should feel very, very blessed that you have them. Blessed? Mm -hmm. Do it, Anya. Why? Why blessed? 
would have thought any of this that has happened to me is blessed to you. Find out who you really are in this moment and cut me. Answer my question first. What about this is blessed to you? What about any of this is blessed to you? I don't think I can answer that for you. Fucking said it now. Answer it. Perhaps. You have a life, and you have friends, and you have professions, and you go around and you associate yourself in the mannerisms to which you want to convey in that moment to whomever that you are with. That is not a lifestyle that I am afforded, or my sisters, or any of my family are afforded. Those are luxuries that you have that we do not. That is why I call it blessed, Inya. Blessed. <laughs> blessed. Blessed. Fucking blessed! Mm -hmm. You call this blessed? Oh. Oh. I don't know any of this! Mm -hmm. Blessed! None of this is... None of this is blessed. At least I never had anything. I had something I had. Something I had. Something I had. Something I had. Something and I threw it away. And I threw it. I threw it all away just because I could. None of this is blessed. That depends on how you take it. <laughs> you choose to see I'm it that sorry. way. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're fine. One became two Appreciate rather quickly. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Just, just, yeah, just, just sit down, and I'm. Uh, I'll oh, there's cover you. the real in you. I'll cover you. I promise. I promise. You did good. I promise nothing, nothing either. I hey, Please sit down. Inya, breathe. <laughs> mm. Inya. She liked that. You liked that too, didn't you? No. I don't know. I don't know. It felt good to release it. Admit it. Have a seat, sister. Please, just... Mm. Just let me look over you, please. Do you want to look over her because you feel guilty? For what you've done. Please just let me look over you, please. I don't want you bleeding out. I, I don't. I don't want it getting infected. Please just. Please just sit down. Please. Thank you. I'm proud of you. I, I hurt you. That's I don't I don't understand. That's something you're gonna have to come to terms with one way or another. Hurting her. Part of your growth. Understanding yourself, truly understanding yourself. It's not. I just. I don't know. It's like there's so many conflicting feelings all at once. It's on, on one end, I. I just want to feel in control of something for once in my life. You were in control of that. I don't want to be in control at the same time. I don't understand it. It's, it's like I want to be Do you able ever to do it. learn something and automatically understand or interpret it as something that you understand fully? No. Exactly. Why is this any different? Because at the same time, I... It's 
because you don't understand it. The action behind it. It was better being forced to hurt someone. I, I don't, I don't know, because there was that, there was that bit of regret, and then there was the, the knowing that I, I couldn't be at fault for this because it, it wasn't my fault. Someone was making me do it, and I didn't have another choice. And I, I could just be the victim for once instead of causing it to someone else. I could be hurting alongside that person instead of being the one who was always hurting other people, even though I'm just trying to feel that pain that they're feeling myself and mm. I don't know. If you didn't want to do what you just did, you wouldn't have done it. But you didn't fight it. Your anger lets you do it. And I respect that. And I respect you. Tremendously more than I did prior. The woman we saw before was weak and afraid of herself. And you still are to an extent. Like an egg, and we need to start cracking your shell. Because there's a lot in there. Stop apologizing. Now, if I was some random person that you attacked and you felt empathy towards your actions towards them, then that would be different. The situation is not that. I like her mother. Mm -mm, I do as well. I like this version of her better anyway. So much better. This is the version that gets shit done and doesn't take shit from people who aren't worthy of it. So I think the truth of the matter is you're too used to being a victim. Mm. Should. I don't understand. I don't. I always feel like I'm hurting people with every action that I, I, I do. And it doesn't matter if it's not to hurt other people. It, it doesn't matter if it's just to try and feel something for myself. People always make it about them. It's never enough. I got my tongue ripped out of my face. And you know what people made it about? I made it about them and what they thought of the situation. Instead of just letting me hurt, I was just looking for some goddamn support. And yeah, what you did just now is finally t taking what you need. And look at the support you've garnished. In this life, you have to take and all you do and all you did before was give. You told us that you gave everything of yourself and got a did not get what you needed in return. Now you understand why. Don't make it beautiful. I want it to look like shit. I don't think I can make it look nice even if I tried my, my hands are shaking too much
know, I had Shay a donut full of glass one time. <laughs> really? Not, not enough to hurt them, but just enough so they could feel it. And, and the first time I met them, they kidnapped me, strangled me, and put a knife in my thigh. And they were laying on the ground, completely helpless, and I just put my foot on their chest and leaned in as deep as I could. I think I almost broke the ribs. I, I, I threatened to, to, to cut them open and that I could have done whatever I, I wanted with them, but I, I wasn't because we were different. And I, I was merciful. And... What did that get you? I don't know. Um, the simplicity that I might be better than someone. Why do you need once? to be better than people? You should only worry about being better for you and whatever you crave or consider. Supposed to seen as the thief of joy. Oh yeah. I'm supposed to care about other people. I I, I need to know that there's that there's people worse. How's that than working me? out for you though? In all honesty. How many people have cared for you? You've given yourself to. Because you feel the need. How many, Anya? There has, there has been people. I just scare them away and they just they just leave. Because it's, it's not worth the effort. Maybe they're not worthy of you. Maybe I'm not worthy of them. It's not, it's not them. It, it's just... You think Me. way too much about how much you should affect the opinions and suggestions and things of other people that are not worthy of you. That's disgusting. Why do you do that? It's, it's what's right. You're supposed to care about other people. And, and, Only and, and, care about other people that are worth caring about and they're worthy of your time and your energies. Fuck the rest. You're insignificant and have no meaning or matter. And to and give I, them that to which they do not deserve is an insult to you? It's not. Everybody deserves to be cared about and, and have effort put into them because... Sometimes some people need us for anyone to care, for anyone at all, just to care about them, and maybe they won't. Maybe they won't feel like I do. I would love they to just... put you in a well and close you in it for a week or so, <laughs> so you could truly see, through your own horrors and terrors, exactly what the world is like when you give it energies that aren't worthy. only thing I have a care about is how someone speaks to me. How they judge me. That depends on my actions that I cast upon them. Otherwise, the only thing I care about are my family, my mother, my brothers, and my sisters. Nothing else matters because no one else will ever do to me what they do to me. They will never resonate in my soul or in my heart the way that my family does. And my family has all of me all the time. I'm not going to cater myself to the bullshit that other people place upon me so that I could be perfect in their eyes through their image. All of that is pointless. It's greedy. And it smells like pus.
How do you feel? For what you did to me. Be honest. It's a 50-50. One, one part of me is utterly horrified at what I just did and, and regrets every moment of it. And and, and another part of me just... No, no, no. Say it. Let it out. I'm not going to judge you for how you feel. You don't have that right. Pardon me. Just <laughs> wants to do it all over again. And patch you up every time so we can so we can keep doing it. Why do you have to base yourself as there's something wrong with you because of how you feel? Because there is something wrong If half with me. of you enjoyed it so much that you wish we could exchange cuts, why do you try to hide that from your own thoughts, your own self? What makes you do those things, I don't understand. She thinks too much about what society thinks. Mm. It's not what she is true to herself. I am being true to myself. I have always been everything and nothing all at once. It's always been both sides. I'm, I'm horrified, but I want to keep doing it. Then do it. I don't know why. Go explore this different side of you that you have been reluctant to to do until this moment. No, Indulge. It just makes the hurting worse, doesn't it? I don't it hurt. Was... When I stabbed you, I didn't hurt. When I, I shot hurt. another man, it didn't hurt. When I stabbed another man, it didn't hurt. Because I understand that that's just the way that I am. And that is how I... That's just what I do. And I feel better because of it. I accept it. Am I flawed? Absolutely. Am I broken? <laughs> yes. Am I a lunatic? I absolutely am. You know what I do with my mom? What? I say things that get under her nerves because I know that she'll cut me. And when she cuts me, I know that she loves me. She's th thinking about me. She's thought about me. She's put effort towards me. And that I know that she matter, that I matter to her. It's quite beautiful, actually. But at the end of the day, I am still her daughter, and she is still my mother. Nothing changes. That bond will never fail. Everything to you. Mm -hmm. That was right. Pain is effort. That's makes a lot more sense now. She's put more effort into me than anybody I've ever known. And more time and more energy, and I kept convincing myself that they were just hurting me, so it, it was still effort. There's time and a place for pain. You know this very well. But it all has meaning, and yeah should have something substantial wrapped around it. Something that makes sense. 
like this. You being permitted to do what you just did. You understand why. You're coming to terms with that part of yourself. Even out of your own words. You are not weak. You are not a broken little bitch. You are in control of your own self, even though it might not have necessarily felt like it in the moment. You understand, I believe. And it's okay to be different. We are all different. We don't fit the norms of civilization. We don't progress in the same mannerisms that it does and that it requires everyone to follow. And Enya, when you give yourself to that, when you become that person, your destiny per se, then you are really free. Then you can really live. Because then you have full control over your own world, your own life, and those that conjure within it. Do you understand me? I do. Good. Pretty sure I do. Maybe. What's my name? Um, he, he told it to me once before, I, I think, but... My mother has told it twice as well, once in the cave and once this evening. I have, you have? It's Luna. Luna. So the deputy's caught you, yeah, it's, it's, it's not him. Hmm. He took my picture. Ugh. Back when I was more beautiful. <laughs> I like her mother. For the like first more time. More. I see potential. Give me hope. Hope is good. And Inya, dear, I'm the one who wrote the letter. My name is Gertrude. Gertrude. Keep taking and growing in you. Maybe you'll finally have a world that fits you and what you need. I think she wants a family. Well, um, I'll, I'll give you my name so that you can t telegram me. It's Ollie or Oleana. Now, Inya, know that this is a very, very rare thing for us to give our names, our true names. Nobody gets them. Not willingly. I hope you understand the gravity of us doing this. I do. It's a trust not bestowed upon many. And if abused, we'll come back to you. Violently. And we know where you work. 
to do not be stupid. Because you'll look foolish wandering this world with no eyes in your head. Very well. And if you ever feel like you want to have more of these conversations to try and better understand yourself, feel free to reach out. I wouldn't want to bother you. Oh, it wouldn't take, be a bother, dear. Take what you need, Inya. Stop giving and start taking. It's up to us to determine if we are to give you that attention, but it's up to you to ask and take it, you know? Take this. What? Take this. This is mine and I'm giving it to you. Take it. You can't put it in a, a jar. It's yours. Do with it what you wish. You could put it on your shirt, put it on a piece of paper. Wipe it on your knife. I don't care. And then you can always look at it and remember. Fine. You can remember this is the day you really started taking control of your own life. How much you grew as a result of it. And how good it actually felt. Thank you. Mm -hmm. We all owe a debt for a price for the actions that we conduct towards ourselves, towards others. It's almost sacrificial in a way. Me giving you my blood is a symbol of my appreciation for that moment, the intimacy of it, how violent but yet beautiful that it became, and what it revealed throughout all of it. Is there anything else, Mother? I think we're done here. Until next time. I do get some sleep in ya. Yeah. <laughs> I have to leave now. Mm hmm. You're allowed to leave whenever you want to leave. No one is keeping you here. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Sorry, uh, please, please wash over the, 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 the scars uh, or the, 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 the sutures. Uh, I have hundreds today. of scars upon my back, in my chest, my arms, my head, my legs. I know how to care for them. Not worry. Of course. I'm sorry. Hmm. 
I'm impressed. As am I. I think we'll be seeing a lot more of her. Mm -hmm. I do hope so. I want to be able to do what you did. I hope you're paying attention. I am. The problem with that, Ariana, is that if I saw somebody aggress you, it would upset me very quickly. Mm -hmm. Emma. Oh, she left already. She just left. Mm -hmm. That was certainly a very interesting conversation with her. Went a lot differently than I expected, to be honest. But so be it. And what do you mean, so be it? It was good. <laughs> what did you expect, though? I didn't know. I figured it was she felt tormented because of us not hurting her. I kind of figured that that would fuck with her in a way. Then it did. That People was the idea. They're so easy. <laughs> I hope I did not anger you, Mother, with inviting her to do said thing. No, I actually had that very same idea. Hmm. That was my fear that I may have crossed the line with you. You would have known. I know. Shall we get home? I do think so. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm very sleepy. Imagine. I'm sure you are, dear. Imagine. Imagine being sleepy. Ugh. Are you <laughs> okay? Yeah. Get on your horse. Okay. My horse is over here. I know how to sleep because I watch how m mother sleeps. Yes, wow. mother is an expert sleeper. Shall we? Let's go. Holly, lead us home, please. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. I know you can make it. You went from rose all the way to strawberry. She needs you, mother. Well, she needs to figure out what she needs first. It can't be pushed upon her. No. Must come to she her own. To. Exactly. I think we'll be seeing a lot more of her, though. It's possible. I do hope so. I feel like she made a... She did well today. Mm -hmm. She learned a lot about herself that she needed to. And that is good. It's very good. She needs to learn to not enjoy being a victim. Yes, she absolutely does. 
Oh, mother, she's taking you through the water. It's not so deep. <laughs> My little sleepy girl. I'm sorry, I'm so sleepy. Don't be sorry. Change your name to Ollie Sleep. <laughs> Ollie do is sleep. Ollie do is sleep. Mm, I like that better. No, or more no. afraid of. I revealed a lot about myself to her. I hope she does yes. not abuse that. I wondered if you lost her there when you admitted things about yourself. That it was going to turn her the other way. For a moment, I thought you may have gone too far. I said I. I wanted her to understand. She stayed though. Mm -hmm. it, it was good reminding her that she was not being held there. Yep. That she could leave. Yeah, she asked permission to leave. Interesting. That's the victim in her. Mm -hmm. But I told her that we didn't, we weren't holding her there, so she could leave at any time. And she was, we were only there because she wanted us there. Exactly. It's a good day. It was a very good day. Molly, I'm pleased you were able to stay up as long as you did. Molly's my favorite. family is fucking sick and odd and just awkward and it's beautiful. The mom is such a bitch. But she a fine motherfucking bitch. 